Today I'm going to show you how to make quick and easy screencasts and GIFs using Recordit. G'day, Paul from Democast Media, helping you supercharge your workflow with screen capture. So I'm doing a review on Recordit. It's an easy way to make screencasts and GIFs. Uh, it's got a really easy way to share that with others but uh, there is a warning there. You need to be aware that those things get saved on a public server and we'll address that issue later. But firstly, let's look at how to download the application. So first thing you wanna do is head over to record.co where you can download a Mac or Windows version of the program for free. Hit the link to start the download. And once you've done the setup installation process, you'll find the recorded icon in the system tray down there. Hitting the icon triggers the um, crosshairs where you can make a selection on the screen. Follow that instruction to refresh. There is no interface here for editing, it's just recording. Right clicking will reveal these four options on the menu and we'll go through these in more details later. But if you hit the preferences, uh, you'll see that we have five minutes worth of recording. Don't bother launch on login and you can make a selection of colors to highlight the mouse. Now, once you're ready to start a recording, get your screen set up, hit the icon, make a selection on the screen, and then hit the button down there. It will start capturing everything within that rectangle. Once you're done with your recording, hit the button there, and it will start preparing your file and uploading it onto their public server. You have two options here. You can save as an MP4 file, or if you hit the button there, it converts it to a GIF, and you can save that separately, put that onto your computer, uh, which you can use for later. Now, alternatively, you can copy the URL link up there, uh, which you can then share with others. But there is a word of caution. If you go to the privacy policy, it does state that Although the content is considered unlisted uh, with regards to search engines, the moment you share that link with others, you do leave yourself at risk of having confidential information shared publicly, which is a, is a bit of a gray area. Now, I did email them and they got back to me within 24 hours showing me that you can actually delete recordings by clicking there and it will remove it permanently. And if you do have any other issues in deleting files, you can email them uh, directly and they will uh, delete that for you. But it is a gray area. Now, if you have a Mac for $29, a one-time fee, you can have password protection and, and higher frame rates. Some might consider that a bit steep, but it may be worth it if you're just trying to create something uh, for uh, communication and some documentation purposes. So as you see, Record It really is an elegant way of getting these things done. It's really just doing the screen capture without narration, get your process down and or give feedback. It's great that way, but tread lightly when sharing any links to your content to others. If that is a concern and you have information you want to keep private or if it's confidential, perhaps steer clear of Record It or just uh, keep it to saving files onto a hard drive and, sa and sharing it uh, by other means, uh, internally, uh, perhaps that might be the way to go. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments in the section below. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to subscribe. Uh, we are here to rid the world of confusion and stress, one screen capture at a time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.